Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic 3 Knuckles as Knuckles. In the last part, we went through Flying Battery and ultimately went through the drudgingness that is Sandopolis Zone. And now we're here for Lob Reef and I don't know how I did not die there. That is... Ah, oh, that's also not the first time that's happened to me. Now there's an item behind this machine, but for the life of me, I can't recall what it is. I think you might also only be able to reach it as Sonic, maybe? Either way, this is a particularly dangerous zone as Knuckles, just due to his lower jump. A lot of this area feels like it's more designed for Sonic in mind, uh, at least in the areas that are shared between the two. The gas monster that is exclusive to Lava Reef as well that we saw down there, uh, the one that saps your rings if, you stay, if it stays on you long enough, also just feels more annoying as Knuckles due to its speed decrease. You already can't jump much as Knuckles, so that further reduction hurts all the more. I just ran into a flaming wall twice. Hmm. Not the first time I've ran into a standing still obstacle multiple times in a row. That's happened a couple times, actually, especially off screen. Now, ultimately, uh, if you've gotten this far, Lava Reef Act 1 shouldn't pose too much of a challenge. Uh, the length is probably the hardest part of it, barring a one platforming sequence like that's Knuckles exclusive. And we'll see that eventually, though I think you also just don't get to see much of the more open areas as Knuckles. Particularly in places where you may have been able to see, like, the, uh, the Death Egg as Sonic. And additionally, uh, there's one area that comes to mind- oh, by the way, this platforming section absolutely sucks as Knuckles! It's really hard to get over this, especially this first jump. You really need to build up some speed. Or you could just tank the hit like I am, however, ultimately, that causes my demise. Uh, there's one area in particular I can think of that I don't think Knuckles can reach normally without doing some really roundabout stuff. Uh, it's an area where there's, I just think, some items as Sonic, but it's above a uh, spike ball on the ground. Also, I know I've talked about the soundtrack so far throughout the game to a decent extent. I've tried to hold back on it, all things considered, actually. But I love Lava Reef. Lava Reef is so nice sounding, especially Act 1. I, I love how almost kind of relaxing it is. And of course, I, as I speak about the soundtrack, we get replaced with the invincibility theme. Oh yeah, that's right! The, 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 the smoke monster is actually one of the few creatures in the game that can damage you, or at least do its main method of damage to you. Even while you're still invincible, not many enemies can still do that. And now it's time for the boss, which, similarly to another boss earlier, I kind of play sloppily as Knuckles, partially just due to me being a dumbass and forgetting something once again, just like with Hydro City. The thing I forget in this fight is until uh, the two little cannons are down, I entirely forget to attack the hand. I think I was confusing this with... A, a Game Gear boss fight for some reason. Or maybe I was cont confusing it with Big Hand from 3DS Generations. I'm not exactly sure what I was doing, but I just plain forget to attack that hand until it's the last thing standing. Uh, make sure you're jumping on that as you go through the fight, just so it wraps up that much more cleanly. I think uh, what I also could have been confusing it with is the... Eggman boss at the end of Sonic's campaign. We need to spin dash into the fingers, potentially. Yeah, because I just tried to do that. Yeah, it's like they're very similar looking hands. There we go. On the whole, this boss fight's actually pretty easy. The hardest thing to dodge is probably the double firing triple spread shot uh, from either cannon. And even then, that's pretty easy to dodge. You just need to be keeping an eye out, though admittedly, the bullets can blend in with the lava in the background. It's also weird thinking about it, but at least in Act 1, I think a fire shield is more useful in flying battery as Knuckles than it is uh, in Lava Reef compared to Sonic. Which is just kind of odd. Obviously, there's still the lava you run into, but on the whole, not much fire uh, hazards in the game. In fact, uh, water really is the most common elemental hazard, isn't it? Huh. And now it's time for Lava Reef Act 2, which I think I mentioned in the original LP, but I love the environment shift. 
I've always felt the music was a bit more of a shift than usual, though. Because it, it's clearly still Lava Reef, don't get me wrong, but... Compared to Lava Reef Act 1, the melody isn't as noticeable. Is a much more uh, drastic shift, rather, compared to some of the other Act 1 to Act 2s. Now, as Knuckles, we're actually going to, yet again, have a pretty drastically different pathway here. Mostly, again, just due to our changed abilities, I mean, we can't jump up certain ways as well as Sonic could. Though I don't know why I'm hovering around the beginning so much. I think I recall there being an item or a ring up to the top left of this area, but I've just decided to say screw it and move on. Knuckles gets the chance to use these tunnels quite a bit more. In fact, I think these only showed up as Sonic in the background. Uh, they're similar to the tunnels from the Death Egg Zone, though. Uh, and I think there's even a similar glitch with them if you use debug mode. I think if you enter debug mode while you're in them, the game can very likely crash. So, uh, <laughs> be careful. If I were to compare Lava Reef, though, on the whole difficulty-wise to any other zone in the game, I'd say, honestly, the game difficulty probably peaks... Uh, in Sandopolis, on the whole, uh, especially as Knuckles, even though I think it's easier to get hit in Lava Reef, it's harder to die. Oh, and yeah, it's about time I finally showed this thing off. I, I think in the original LP, I failed at this very consistently whenever it showed up, so I'm actually gonna give this an honest try and see if we can actually finish it this time. Let's see, jump up here. The physics of this are the hardest thing to get used to, just because it's not a one-to-one -one control thing. You are controlling yourself on a planetoid, very similarly to what would happen in Mario Galaxy, actually. But how far off you jump does depend, I think, where you launch off and what you launch off into. So you do need to have a, not a keen eye, but at least a basic idea of how momentum works. Mind you, if you've gotten this far in a Sonic game, you have a decent idea of momentum, at least with the game's individual momentum. And there we go. And like I mentioned before, the rings in that stage, the ring balloons, actually give you varying amounts depending on how high in the stage you are. I think they ma uh, I think they give you a minimum of five, but or is it ten? Either way, one of those two, and they max out at eighty. So if you want to gain some extra lives, uh, next to getting consistent jackpots or two jackpots in a Sonic in uh, the freaking. Uh, slot machine one. Uh, that's your best bet for money. However, you can do, I think you can do the slots infinite times if you do your placements around the stage well enough. Whereas that does eventually have an end no matter what due to the teleporter behind you. Okay, going backwards. Yeah, that's kind of the thing about the super forms in the classic games. Uh, depending on the level design, your physics could easily screw up. Uh, what you're supposed to be moving like and cause you to do stuff like that. If I recall, though, we're actually getting close to the end of the stage. It's kind of hard to tell because, uh, admittedly, like I've said a couple times before in this LP, I've played Sonic more than Knuckles, so the level design is kind of trying to stick out in my head and it's not working too well comparatively. I suppose it has always been kind of my thing. I, even when a game gives you multiple characters to play as, I'll always play as the main character the most. Unless you need to beat both characters to get everything in the game, so forth, so on, so forth. You know what I mean? Like, in a game like Sonic and Knuckles, where it's just two variable storylines with no real difference, uh, beyond gameplay style, I'll probably play as Sonic more often than that. However, if it's a game like Yakuza 0, where you obviously have to play as both to beat the game, and they're very drastically different characters with more than just... Uh, in different areas, rather. That's more worth it to me. I guess you could also compare it to an extent to the Jude versus Mila, or whatever her name was, storylines in Tales of Zelia 1. Oh yeah, now we're in Hidden Palace. Yeah, there's no boss for Lava Reef Act 2. Kind of strange, but there's a reason for that. First off, look at the background. Hi, no death egg. And uh, also, I hope you liked the Hidden Palace aesthetics, because we're done. Welcome to the final stage, Sky Sanctuary. Hey, look, Angel Island's even in the background. All right, Egg Rub. Okay. Oh, yeah, you were kind of just standing there, not being blown up back during the Sonic campaign, weren't you? Final boss for Knuckles is Mecha Sonic, who is 
in a lot of ways just an upgraded version of Silver Sonic from Sonic 2. He has a few different attacks, all varying around uh, jumping at first. You can either do a spin dash across the floor, do multiple jumps, a dash in mid-air, and the later he gets in his health bar, he also gets an increased likelihood of doing another attack where he stays crouched and dashes backwards like that. That will hit you because his spines are hitting you. On the whole, not very hard, uh, though that could just be my brain confusing it be and being glad that it's not Super Mario Bros. Z, Mecha Sonic. And that's game! Yeah, no it's not. One more phase to go... No... Oh, thank god this didn't happen in Mario Bros. Z. Phase 2, Super Mecha Sonic, has a couple moves, but he only tends to use three with the way I move. He can dash directly into you with himself going in his flying formation. He can dash in his ball formation, but the way you want to damage him is wait for him to go into this little attack where he opens up like that and fires three projectiles at you. He'll then power down for a brief second, in which case you can spin dash into him before he spin dashes over back to, to the Master Emerald and starts the pattern over again. He does have one other attack, but he doesn't tend to use that much until the latter half of his health bar, I've noticed. And that's where he'll kind of fly left to right across the screen, firing out basically dummy rings in an odd uh, parallel to Sonic 06, actually, in a way, with Tails. Uh, it goes in a spread shot all around him. Uh, it's also very predictable and easy to dodge. However, notable, when he does get to that phase, the way you have to damage him changes a little bit. He'll do a couple volleys of the ring attacks in a row. But after that, he won't power down all the way. He'll fall down from flying a little bit, become vulnerable, but then start going gold again, in which case he'll start flying back up and the pattern repeats. Once he reaches that part of his health bar, he never goes back to the Master Emeralds. So this becomes a basic game of just keeping an eye on what he's doing. I tend to stay around where that line is right there on the floor just because it gives me a good opportunity to, to dodge. Though my experience, he also loves to abuse the projectile attack the quickest when I stand there for some reason. I don't think that's an actual thing, it's just my brain playing tricks on me combined with luck, probably, but... Yeah. On the whole, uh, honestly, Robotnik slash Eggman and Doomsday Zone are probably the harder final boss. But the overall journey to get to Mecha Sonic is harder given Knuckles' own ability set and the stage design changes that he has to deal with. An interesting little, uh, not parallel, but dichotomy, I guess? I do have to wonder, though, why it was always Metal Sonic that I brought back and not Silver Sonic or Mecha Sonic to any extent. Because, yeah, Metal Sonic is the better size comparison and therefore makes for the better artificial rival. rival. But there's something about the intimidation factor in Mecha Sonic that always just felt better as a villain to me. Like, imagine this thing being uh, Metal Overlord in Sonic Heroes compared to the actual Metal Sonic. That would have been a much more intimidating fight. And here's the second attack spam, and that's how he's vulnerable. You do need to be a bit faster on the attack when it comes to a secondary uh, vulnerability state, but... Uh, on the whole, I think he's actually a bit easier here because he's so much less aggressive. Uh, I do believe there is a set amount of volleys he has to do. He can either do one to four, but on the whole, that's game. And uh, we should probably get off this platform. I think this is the only time that Angel Island has ascended even farther beyond like this, off the top of my head. Because most of the time in the Sonic series, it is usually just around the height it was, and yeah, whether or not it can move, I guess, depends on the continuity. But that's Sonic 3 and Knuckles as Knuckles. 
It's a great time. I think Sonic on the whole is still the stronger playthrough, just given his more balanced moveset and jumping ability. And plus, I think some of Knuckles' uh, level design, while, while catered to his mechanics, just doesn't stand up as well as the Sonic stuff. And that's also Sonic 3 Knuckles as a whole from, from me. Uh, maybe sometime down the road I'll do a Tails run on like Sonic Jam or something. On the whole, Tails run is just the Sonic run with uh, less, so it's not really that notable. He doesn't get exclusive routes or anything like Knuckles, which I guess was to show their focus on the new character at least, and I can appreciate that, but it's kind of a bummer. Sonic 3 and Knuckles on the whole, though, is still my favorite 2D Sonic game. Mania is really close, though, I will say that, because... While that game was very guilty of the whole nostalgia thing compared to even some of the other games that came before it, it's still so mechanically strong that it just doesn't matter to me. And that's it for Sonic on the Gen- well, no, not really. That's it for the main classic Sonic games on the Genesis. There's still Mean Bean Machine, 3D Blast, Spinball, uh, and there's also uh, technically, because it attached to the Genesis, the 32X games. And by that, I mean Knuckles Chaotix. We'll see those at some point or another, but this is going to be it for Sonic for a bit, even though it's only been one game, just because i got other things to focus on. Including a return to a certain little pink puff soon. Oh, I'll just leave that enough as a little hint. Also, uh, this is the actual medley that the game uses in Sonic 3 Knuckles, I believe. Uh, you might recall in the Sonic LP, I intentionally used the Sonic 3 standalone credits theme, which was the Not Strangers in Moscow music. Uh, and this is my way of showing off both songs. Uh, I actually kind of like the, strange, the, the Not Strangers in Moscow song more, though, because medleys, to me, aren't always the best way to end the game. It depends on the general tone of all the music, and since the soundtrack in Sonic 3 is so varied, not all of it works too well for the purpose. Also, I forget exactly how the ending changes depending on what emeralds you have. I think the only thing that changes is the ending pose we're going to get from Knuckles here. Uh, like, I think if you're Hyper Knuckles, he's glowing a bit more. Super Knuckles, he's... maybe he's the pink. And, uh, well, Standard Knuckles, he's just Knuckles. I don't even think there's a get more emeralds try again next time message as him. But with that, well, actually, I should mention first, it's just because I haven't not gotten the Hyper Emeralds as him in so long that it's kind of hard to remember. But with that, I'm going to need to end this off here. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great night. Take care. And I'll see you guys next Let's Play, whatever that may be. See you guys then.